ICE committee uh, tries to build bridges between labor force development from the perspective of people looking for jobs and employers looking and entrepreneurship development is of course does both of those together. Also newcomer development is a really large focus of our uh, committee members. So um, the idea of doing a forum on newcomer export development with a focus on entrepreneurship was just sort of a very, a very good natural fit for the committee to get behind. Newcomers, entrepreneurs, even newcomers in general, by giving them jobs that could play certain roles to use their previous experiences to cultivate that, those connections with other countries in the world that they're familiar with, it makes Canadian tapping to those experiences and makes Canadian companies easier to trade with other countries. And that's what we don't do in general. We're just always doing what's comfortable for us, which is what we used to do, which is always trading with the United States. And I think we should push ourselves, and there is nothing wrong with that, but we can't limit ourselves and our trade to the United States or any other one country. Entrepreneurship is a very rewarding pathway for some immigrants to achieve economic inclusion. And that's something that is still not really well recognized among the, many of the settlement agencies and a lot of the mainstream business organizations, in my view, are not harnessing the power of newcomers who bring knowledge and assets that we really need to grow international trade. We feel that Canada can take advantage of the African immigrants that are living in Canada so they can have access to um, projects and cultural know-how and knowledge on how to invest in Africa as well. So the Chamber is a perfect organization to come for those immigrants, for example, engage with us, give us their background, their, uh, their, their story and, and, you know, where they, you know, work or how they want to proceed with their employment, um, uh, you know, aspirations. And from that, we can leverage through the 6,000 members that we had at the Chamber. The ICE committee basically brings people together and shows, shines spotlights on things. We try to find uh, advocates and leaders for some of the findings we do, but we are an action oriented committee ourselves. We have a website and the proceeds from the uh, pro proceedings <laughs> from the uh, forum will be posted on our website and we will do some outreach from there and um, hopefully some of the other agencies can pick up some of the findings and run with it. Newcomers, entrepreneurs uh, could develop every and any type of uh, business. I think Canada is open now uh, to become a new hub of technology. Uh, Canada uh, has been always exporting uh, vehicle, even armed vehicle. Uh, other countries has a lot of things that we could use here in Canada. So those people could play that role. And instead of always being at lower level of a scale of hiring, they could actually become, uh, businesses always worry about the top line. Because when you have a lot of sales, all the rest of your profit and losses statement get fixed, right? And those entrepreneur uh, newcomers, or even hiring newcomers that could play those roles, will actually could add to the top line, could add to the sales by bringing a new market.